you imagine the nerve of that guy? <laughs> what is that? Okay, you're probably going, is this like an Oxima commercial or what? But seriously, I actually have a way normal life for a teenage girl. I mean, I get up, I brush my teeth, and I pick out my school clothes. They do it over there, but they don't do it here. Ooh, fashion. Fashion. Turn left. Fashion. Turn left. Now, is there a Christian Stovitz in this class? Mr. Hall, the buzz on Christian is that his parents have joint custody, so he'll be spending one semester in Chicago and one semester here. I think it is a travesty on the part of the legal profession. Thank you for that perspective, Cher. Here's where Dion lives. She's my friend because we both know what it's like to have people be jealous of us. Girlfriend. And I must give her snaps for her courageous fashion efforts. Hey, Cher. Dion and I were both named after great singers of the past who now do infomercials. So, the flannel shirt deal, is that a nod to the crispy Seattle weather, or are you just trying to stay warm in front of the refrigerator? All right, Cher! Earth to Cher! Come in, Cher! <laughs> Ms. Stoger, I would just like to say that physical education in this school is a disgrace. I mean, standing in line for 40 minutes is hardly aerobically effective. I doubt I've worked off the calories in a stick of carefree gum. Well, you certainly exercise your mouth, Cher. Now hit the ball. Ms. Stoger, that machine is just a lawsuit waiting to happen. I don't know why Dion's going out with a high school boy. They're like dogs. You have to clean them and feed them. and They're just like these nervous creatures that jump and slobber all over you. Ew! Get off of me! Ugh! If. At least he knows what he wants to do, and he's in a good college. I'd like to see you have a little bit of direction. I have direction. Yeah, towards the mall. Two minutes. So, okay, like right now, for example, the Hadians need to come to America. But some people are all, what about the strain on our resources? But it's like when I had this garden party for my father's birthday, right? I said RSVP because it was a sit-down dinner. But people came that, like, did not RSVP. So I was, like, totally bugging. I had to haul ass to the kitchen, redistribute the food, squish in extra place settings. But by the end of the day, it was like, the more, the merrier. And so, if the government could just get to the kitchen, rearrange some things, we could certainly party with the Hadians. And in conclusion, may I please remind you that it does not say RSVP on the Statue of Liberty. Thank you very much. Uh, Amber, uh, reply? Mr. Hall, how can I answer that? The topic is Haiti, and she's talking about some little party. Hello, it was his 50th birthday. Shea, get in here. What's up, Daddy? What the hell is that? A dress. Says who? Calvin Klein. What makes you think you can get teachers to change your grade? Doesn't he understand? Only the fact that I've done it every other semester. Right in the morning. No shit, you guys got coke here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is America. Yeah, which one of them's your boyfriend? Yes, F. Yeah, do you have a number of a cab company? Which one? I don't know which one. What do you have out here? Oh, we have Valley Cab. Hand it over. Uh, Give me the phone. Uh, okay, okay. Back to. Come on! All right, now uh, get down on the ground, face down. Come on! Oh no, you don't understand. This is an Aliyah. And a what? -a? It's like a totally important designer. And I will totally shoot you in the head. Get out! Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, count to a hundred. Thank you. One. Chair. Present. I guess we established that during attendance. It's time for your oral. Excuse me? Your original oral. The topic is violence in the media. Oh. So, okay. The Attorney General says there's too much violence on TV, and that should stop. 
But even if you took out all the violent shows, you could still see the news. And so until mankind is peaceful enough not to have violence on the news, there's no point in taking out of shows that need it for entertainment value. Thank you. You look like Pippi Longstocking. You look like Forrest Gump. The entire student body was utterly grateful for the improvement in their grades. D, I almost had sex with him. You almost had sex with who? Christian. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, look, are you bitches blind to something? Your man Christian is a cake boy. A, a what? what? He's a disco dancing, Oscar Wilde reading, Streisand ticket holding friend of Dorothy. Know what I'm saying? Uh uh, no way. He's gay. Not even. Yes, even. He does like to shop share, and the boy can dress. Oh my god, I'm totally bugging. Let's do a makeover. <gasps> no. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, let us. Cher's main thrill in life is a makeover, okay? It gives her a sense of control in a world full of chaos. What do you think? I'm amazed. That I'm devoting myself so generously to someone else? No. That you found someone even more clueless than you are to worship you. Oh, it's so killer. <laughs> Thank you. Your dad is pretty scary. Isn't he? You like Billie Holiday? I love him. Right. It's just like Hamlet said, to thine own self be true. Uh, no, uh, Hamlet didn't say that. <laughs> I think that I remember Hamlet accurately. <laughs> well, I remember Mel Gibson accurately, but he didn't say that. That Polonius guy did. <laughs> Move into the right lane. Anyway, why should I care what Josh thinks? Why was I letting it throw me into such turmoil? Watch out for the bike one! Hey. Oops, my bad. What are you doing? You can't take up both lanes. Get in the right lane. Run, oh, should I write them a note?